So this is uh, Shroud of the Avatar. Two different versions. On the left is Shroud of the Avatar R14. On the right is Shroud of the Avatar R15. Um, the reason for this comparison is the upgrade from the Unity 4 engine to the Unity 5 engine between these two releases. Um, Unity 5 offers the ability for a much improved graphics over Unity 4 and also much better performance. Though it should be pointed out, uh, the developers have not yet had time to realise most of these improvements. The goal for this release was to get things to look at least as good. Um, so I'll start off with this indoor scene. Now we'll switch to uh, outdoor scene. There we go, Kingsport. Uh, I've got the roads slightly out of alignment on this one, sorry. Now, although all the all the textures and everything have been retouched, I don't think the definition has improved any, or well, intentionally not improved any. Um, I think the main difference between uh, the R15 on the right and the R14 on the left is is the lighting. I think R15 Unity 5 has a much much better uh, lighting system. So although the, you know, the detail of the walls is about the same, the lighting of the R15 makes it look better. Um, there have been some changes to the character models. They're slightly harder to spot, I guess. Uh, most of the work's been on the men one, the male model. Um, what I'd like to do is, uh, when R16 comes out in three weeks, do a video similar to this. Um, I'll probably use some of the same footage to uh, to track the improvements. <laughs> 